Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very special night. The Princeton Women's Basketball Program has developed dedicated women who have had a great experience when they played here and have stayed fiercely loyal long after graduation. Princeton has won 12 Ivy League championships since the team first competed in 1971. The program has played in an unprecedented six NCAA tournaments in the last seven years. To have five decades worth of people here to celebrate and remember their journey at Princeton as someone who's now the custodian of the program is just, it's, I can put no words into it. From the class of 1976, Laura Drummond McGill and Pat Harness Zajac. From the class of 2015, Jess Shivers and Mariah Smith. This program's about people and life's about showing up and that's what Princeton's about, the right people showing up. Renee Crayange, uh, class of 1979. Jersey native, Jersey girl, Jersey crowd. Heidi Nolte in the class of 79 really took, um, took the reins on the older generation um, in, in trying to help them understand the value of coming back and allowing us to remember how it was and, and what their sacrifices were for. Um, and then Cheryl Stevens, of the, she was the captain of the very first NCAA tournament team from Princeton. Um, she really did a really wonderful job getting a lot of the younger alums to connect. The weekend for me personally has been wonderful. I've reconnected with, I think we have nine uh, players from the 70s uh, this weekend, so I've reconnected with people that I haven't seen in, in four decades. Um, so that alone is worth it, and then meeting, obviously, the younger players uh, and, and sharing some of our stories, which I think are very eye-opening to them. So when they hear that we had to drive, drive ourselves to games or uh, the players that wore tunics with bloomers underneath as uniforms, um, it's, it really, their, their eyes kind of pop open. When we started the program in 1971, we had no idea what we were doing. We were very myopic. We just wanted to play hoops because that's what we did when we were in uh, high school. And we had no idea what the program would become. But to see it uh, develop into one of the highest level uh, programs in the country, um, be on the NCAA stage, um, and have no scholarship program other than financial need, that these are athletes and scholars. And to see this, you feel like um, these people are your friends, your teammates, and, and it's a, an extraordinary moment. I am deeply touched by being here. We had no practice uniforms. Uh, we, we basically had to take our own laundry home and, and wash it. Um, we mostly practiced on the side court because um, there wasn't a lot of support for us being able to practice on the main court. Um, our training meals were at PJ's. We actually today went to PJ's for brunch. Uh, and when you see what's on the menu, you sort of wonder how we were even able to, you know, get off the off the ground when we came down and play. And we we had uh, we had very good we had very good teams, and and we joke a little bit that we won. Um, almost despite ourselves, we won, uh, it, I was class of 79, so we had three Ivy League champions. Uh, the class of 78 actually won four Ivy League champions in a row. So it was very basic. We probably, in some cases, many of us had more in high school than we had when we got to Princeton, and that was eye-opening because you come to Princeton and think, you know, you're, you're taking a step forward, and, and we certainly were academically, but athletically it was a challenge. It's just really emotional. It makes you proud to be a part of this story and this legacy uh, and this program, and to hear everything that they've gone through in order to give us the opportunity to have such a successful program uh, makes the experience all the more meaningful. Your kids were rocking awesome Princeton gear yesterday. Good yeah. work. Yeah. They're They're loud. They, and they were loud cheers. So. Yeah, give them a, get a nap so you can bring it back tonight. <laughs> That's what it's been about, the interaction of people to remember that um, they all wore orange and black, and the program has been very different throughout the tenure, both in terms of winning and losing, in terms of the priority of the institution, in terms of opportunities, uh, in terms of the travel, in terms of the opponents. There's been so many things that are different, but what isn't different is the fact that people sacrifice so much um, of their experience to be a part of this program, right? And it took a lot of time, and it, um, it taught you a lot of lessons, and it, um, you built a lot of friendships. I mean, you remember uh, a lot of wins and losses and blood, sweat and tears. And so it's the shared camaraderie of the bigger things. The little details are very different, but the big things are, are consistent.